What's going on guys, it's that guy with movies back here again, and um, I'm back for part two of my DVD collection. Um, last time we left off, uh, I did all the M's, so uh, actually I did A to M. So now we're going to go to uh, N to the end of the alphabet. So without further ado, let's get started. So first one I got up here is uh, North Shore. Uh, it's kind of dark back here, so I'm going to be just pulling all these out. Uh, Needful Things, Stephen King Adaptation, uh, Nashville, uh, Next Friday, uh, I do not have this one with the other Friday movies because obviously it starts with an N, and um, yeah, so that's Next Friday, uh, Next of Kin with Patrick Swayze, and we have the two disc special edition of New Jack City. And then here's another trilogy of movies here. I've only seen the first one, The Naked Gun, or from the Files of Police Squad. I still have to get uh, the complete like Police Squad series, but um, I've like I see it at Walmart a whole lot. But yeah, I'm still gonna have to get it. It's uh, this one obviously is a really funny movie. And then these two I haven't seen, Naked Gun Two and a Half, The Smell of Fear, and it's kind of troublesome with this. Um, Shelf here, and then we have Naked Gun 33 and a third, the final insult. And so that's it for the Naked Guns. So now we have uh, Navy Seals, and we have The Natural, uh, Night Shift, which I actually just got on uh, beta. Then we have A Night of the Roxbury, really good movie. I have the soundtrack to that one actually. So. And it's actually a pretty good soundtrack. Then we have the, uh, whoa, it's very out of focus. Then we have the Vacation movies here. So we have uh, Vacation, which is pretty good. Um, European Vacation, which I have not seen yet. And then we have uh, Christmas Vacation, which is probably the best one out of all of them. Uh, I don't have uh, Vegas Vacation because I never see that one anywhere. Then we have the Night of the Living Dead remake. 1990. Then we have the original Nutty Professor. Actually, that one should go right beside it. This is this is the um, the 1996 Nutty Professor. That should be right there. Uh, no Way Out. Then we have the number 23 with the really cool slip cover. This is the unrated one. Pretty sure that's probably the only DVD that was released. Uh, National Security, which wasn't that great in my opinion. And then we have uh, nothing in common. So now we're going to go on to the next shelf. All right, guys, we're at the uh, the next shelf. I actually have my phone with me right now. So when we get to uh, the bottom here, the bottom two shelves, I'll probably have to turn my flash on. So, um, yeah, so we're going to get on to uh, this shelf now. So first one, and I'm actually sitting on my chair now, which is pretty good. Uh, first one we have on this shelf is A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is the original one. Um, with all the extras on it, yeah, one of the best horror movies. Then we have, um, the sequels now, so we have Freddy's Revenge, uh, Dream Warriors, which one's this one, the Dream Master, the Dream Child, and then we have, uh, Freddy's Dead. Uh, I don't have New Nightmare, and I don't have the remake. So I'm going to have to get those sometime. I'd really like to get that box set with um, everything from the first one to uh, New Nightmare. But I never find that one anywhere. That's really odd. And I'm pretty sure probably all you guys have it. Uh, not even at Revolver do I see that one. But anyways, moving on, we have uh, Nixon, the election year. This one is the director's cut, which I don't think the theatrical one has ever even been released on DVD. So this one is like... Yeah, 213 minutes, so it's a pretty long movie, but it still has a slipcover and everything, which is pretty cool. Uh, then we have some Hitchcock here, North by Northwest. Then we have one of these, like, thick cases again with the others. Uh, another thick case with uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. Then uh, one of the last movies, or one of the last DVDs I ever bought at HMV, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, the two-disc special edition. Uh, then we have Out of Time, Out to Sea, some uh, good old Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, uh, One Crazy Summer, 
the four film favorites uh, Oceans Collection, which this one has, uh, which one, okay, here we have the, uh, the original one with the Rat Pack in it, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., um, that one, then we have the remake, uh, the George Clooney, Matt Damon, Andy Garcia, Brad Pitt, Julia Roberts one, then we have Oceans 12 and Oceans 13. Like the Critters one, unlike the Final Destination one, but like the Critters one, this one comes on uh, two flipper discs. So, um, there's that. Uh, oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Uh, the Outlaw, Josie Wales, some good old Clint Eastwood there. You know, some uh, not so good Steven Seagal here uh, on Deadly Ground. One of his environmental ones. I think this was, yeah, this is the one he directed. Um, yeah, Michael Caine's in that one. Uh, Outbreak, uh, pretty good movie. Uh, Dustin Hoffman, Renee Rousseau, Morgan Freeman, and uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. is also in this one, too. Uh, we have another Super Bit one, uh, Once Upon a Time in Mexico. This is the final uh, part of the Mexican trilogy, I guess. Uh, still with the, I guess, the sleeve and everything. Uh, then we have Overboard, which I believe they're doing a remake this year. Uh, Honor Majesty Secret Service. Then we have The Odd Couple, uh, another good old Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau movie. I still have uh, yet to um, yet to buy The Odd Couple 2. Uh, Out for Justice, more Steven Seagal. Uh, One Hour Photo. Uh, the Outsiders. Lots of uh, lots of upcoming stars in this one. Yeah, see Thomas Howell, Matt Dillon, Ralph Macchio, uh, Patrick Swayze, Rob Lowe, Emilio Estevez, Tom Cruise. Uh, pretty good movie. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of The Outsiders, but it's a pretty good movie. I'd still like to find the uh, the complete novel edition. Uh, the Omega Man, uh, which I Am Legend is a remake of, uh, which I believe that's based on a book. Uh, then we have Philadelphia, the Anniversary Edition, which is two discs. Uh, Tom Hanks, Denzel Washington. Uh, now we have two uh, two versions of the same movie. So we have uh, Payback here, Mel Gibson. Uh, and then we have uh, Payback, or this one is Payback Straight Up, the Director's Cut. Uh, the only the difference is this, uh, this one, the theatrical one, is 101 minutes. And uh, the straight up one is 90 minutes, so... That's that one. Then we have uh, more Clint Eastwood, Pale Rider. Another Clint Eastwood, uh, Painter Wagon. Uh, the Power of One. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Really good movie. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, which I should find the two-disc edition of uh, probably the best one. And then we have uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. I used to have On Stranger Tides on Blu-ray, but I never really liked it, so there's that. Uh, then we have Pan's Labyrinth. Then we have the Ultimate uh, Paranormal Activity Collection, which has all five movies, or all five movies uh, as of whenever this came out. This one, or they actually came with, uh, they actually came out with a sixth one. Which uh, I think was the Ghost Dimension, I think it was called. So you have uh, one, two, three, uh, four, and then you have the marked ones. Uh, the package, Passenger 57, which was pretty good. Uh, Peacemaker, the extended cut of The Patriot, which I should uh, try and find the theatrical cut of. Uh, then we have the program, polyester, some John Waters. Uh, then we have uh, Pearl Harbor here. I should try and find the director's cut of this. Um, it's kind of like feels weird, and it it's kind of like a really weird uh, case too. It just has like the two holders in it, and that's it. But um, yeah, so Michael Bay. Um, then we have A Perfect World, uh, Point of No Return, uh, Phone Booth, which was pretty good. Uh, the People Under the Stairs, some more Wes Craven, and The Perfect Storm, which is pretty good. So now we're going to move down here. We have uh, Precious, or um, <clears throat> Precious, uh, based on the novel Push by Sapphire. Uh, then we have The Pink Panther Strikes Again. I keep forgetting which Pink Panther movies I have. I'm going to have to probably log them. Uh, then we have uh, Parenthood, which has the 100th anniversary slipcover. But it's the, um, I don't know if I can like, get it out here, the special edition DVD, so 
That's kind of cool. Uh, then we have the original Pink Panther. Uh, Primal Fear, the Hard Evidence Edition, which comes in a really cool, like, clear case. Then we have uh, Patriot Games. We have two different versions of uh, kind of the same thing. Uh, we have the Robert England uh, Phantom of the Opera. Then we have the uh, Gerard Butler Phantom of the Opera. Then we have uh, some of the Police Academy movies here. We have the first one, which is pretty good. And then we have uh, two and three, which I haven't seen in this double feature set. I'm going to have to try and find the other ones. Uh, Played it to the bone. Pay it forward. Uh, Platoon. It's kind of like a shiny cover. I'm going to try and get it in better light here. There you go. Platoon Special Edition. Uh, the Professionals. Uh, Pass of Glory. Planet Terror, I should get try and find the slipcover, or not the slipcover, the steel book of that. Uh, I have the steel book for Death Proof. Um, pump Up the Volume. Uh, Patton, Fox War Classics line. Uh, Pootie Tang. Uh, Wanda Sykes, Chris Rock, Lance Crother. Uh, there's that one. You don't really see that one too often. Uh, Poseidon, which is uh, kind of a decent movie. Uh, then I guess we have three movies here that are that relate to color. I guess uh, we have Purple Rain, one of the Prince movies. Uh, soundtrack is awesome. Highly recommend getting the soundtrack. The movie though is not that great. I would not really recommend watching the movie unless if you're like a diehard fan of Prince. Um, but yeah, it's Purple Rain. I still have to find under the Cherry Moon and Graffiti Bridge. Then we have uh, Pink Cadillac here, some more Clint Eastwood. And then we have uh, Pretty in Pink here. So uh, next we have The Princess Bride, which is awesome. Uh, Prefontaine with Jared Leto. Then we have uh, The Prestige, which was a really good movie. Then we have the original producers, Mel Brooks. We have uh, Psycho, the original one. Psycho 2, I bet you guys probably didn't know they even made sequels to Psycho. And Psycho 3. Uh, I don't know if they even released like an official release of Psycho 4. Um, I don't have the remake because, well, it's the Psycho remake. Uh, Pacific Heights. We have the original Planet of the Apes. And then we have the remake Planet of the Apes, not Rise, but just the Mark Wahlberg one. We have Predator. Collector's Edition Spy number 15. There you go. Um, I should probably get the two disc edition of Predator 2, but I just have this really cool uh, slipcover edition. We have Pitch Black, the unrated director's cut. We have Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, some more John Hughes. And then we have uh, Punchline with uh, Sally Field and Tom Hanks. Uh, Point Break, which I never really cared for, but yeah, it's Patrick Swayze, Connor Reeves. Yeah, I, I never really cared for it. It's kind of slow. Uh, the Postman, Kevin Costner. Uh, then we move on to Q's here. We have Quiz Show. Uh, the Queen. The Quick and the Dead. Uh, Quigley Down Under. Some Tom Selleck. Uh, Quantum of Solace, which I should really get on Blu-ray, but I'm just going to keep my DVD of it for right now. Uh, then we have Quest for Fire. So now we're going to move on to uh, the R's now. We have Raging Bull in this really cool uh, slipcover here. Um, awesome movie. I'd highly re If you have not seen Raging Bull, I highly recommend you see it. Uh, Rat Race, which was uh, a pretty fun movie. Uh, Raising Arizona, uh, it's Coen Brothers, how could you not love it? Uh, some James Dean here, Rebel Without a Cause, and on this last shelf we have Ransom. So now I'm going to turn my phone's flash on so we can uh, go down here. So I'm just going to put my phone down. I'm just going to squeeze down here. Uh, that's not really going to work, so I should probably just put it like, yeah, there we go. So, first one we have here, Revolutionary Road, some improvised lighting here, uh, rear window, uh, raw deal, some uh, good old Schwarzenegger cheese, uh, Robocop 2, 
I do not have Robocop 3. I have Robocop on Blu-ray and uh, as a DVD steelbook. The Replacement Killers, uh, Resident Evil, the Deluxe Edition, Resident Evil Apocalypse, and Resident Evil Extinction. I still need to get the other two, I think. I think there was other, I think there was two more. Uh, Red, which was pretty good, and Red 2, I should really upgrade these to Blu-ray. Uh, Risky Business, The Rundown, The Rock and Sean William Scott and Peter Berg, uh, The Robe, uh, Ray, which was uh, pretty good, Road to Perdition, uh, Romantic Comedy, The Running Man, which uh, some more Schwarzenegger cheese, um, really good. Romancing the Stone, The Ref with Dennis Leary's uh, freakishly long legs, uh, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, and this really cool uh, 25th anniversary edition. Uh, then we have The Return of the Pink Panther, Raising Cain, uh, then we have Red Eye, uh, Remember the Titans, Rocky Marciano, Roadhouse, one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. I love this movie. It's some great Patrick Swayze cheese. Uh, great late 80s cheese, too. Uh, Rapid Fire. should move my light over here now. Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Ricochet. Uh, here's Revenge of the Pink Panther. First Blood. Rambo, First Blood Part 2. And Rambo 3. Um, First Blood is awesome, uh, First Blood Part 2, I know probably a lot of people like, but I didn't really care for it, Rambo 3 I haven't seen, uh, The Road Warrior, then we have, uh, Reanimator, part of the Horror Legacy series slipcover line, uh, The Chronicles of Riddick, the unrated director's cut, Rain Over Me, which I heard is supposed to be really good. Uh, Rockstar, which is a great movie. Uh, if you have not seen Rockstar, uh, check it out. Probably one of Mark Wahlberg's best. Uh, Ronin. The Rookie. Uh, the Replacements. Rima Williams. The Adventure Begins. Uh, which is apparently based off of a, a, like a series of books, but I guess that never came to fruition. Uh, the Adventure Begins, and I guess The Adventure Ends. Uh, Rain Man, which is awesome. Uh, running on MT. Then we have uh, three copies of a really good movie, uh, which, is Re uh, which is Reservoir Dogs. So we have, uh, I think this is the, yeah, the Mr. White Edition, and we have the Mr. Blonde Edition. Um, I think there's the Mr. Brown one, and there's the, uh, the Mr. Pink one. I don't think they released any more of those, and I have the tin set, so I actually have one that works. Um, those ones are, like, cracked, and they're, like, scratched and everything, so these two don't work, but the tin set works, which is, uh, or the jerry can one, that one works. So at least I have a working copy of the movie, like I said. Uh, then we have Riding the Bullet, another Stephen King adaptation. Um, Red Corner, Richard Gere, and then on, the, on, uh... The last one on the shelf here is Robin Hood Men in Tights. Um, actually, I should put this where Robin Hood Prince of Thieves is. So we have Robin Hood Prince of Thieves and Robin Hood Men in Tights. So now we move down here. We've got the two-disc uh, director's edition of Red Dragon. Uh, we have the original Red Dawn. Uh, Michael Moore's Roger and Me. Rocky. Uh, gotta love Rocky. Uh, Rudy. Uh, Rules of Engagement, Rocky Balboa, that should not be there, that should be by Rocky, I'm kind of fixing this as I go along, I'm sorry, uh, Roller Coaster, Ruthless People, uh, one of my only criterions in my collection, Seven Samurai, which I was really lucky to find, uh, I believe a listing on eBay said it was like recalled or something like that, um, actually these should... Actually, Seven Samurai should not be there. Um, it should be right there. So, actually, we have three more R's. So, we have Rush Hour, Rush Hour 2, and Rush Hour 3, which they're all pretty good. Um, yeah, like I said, Seven Samurai, uh, The Shadow, 
the really cool two disc uh, Sin City recut and extended edition which also includes uh, the long goodbye comic book which is awesome um, this is an awesome movie too and then we have the D-Day 60th Anniversary Commemorative Edition of Saving Private Ryan. Uh, I really should get Saving Private Ryan on Blu-ray. Shocker, very underrated movie. The Simpsons movie, which was uh, pretty good. Uh, A Shot in the Dark, which is another Pink Panther movie. Shooter, which was pretty good. Uh, Short Circuit. Uh, Stir of Echoes. Uh, Michael Morsico, which was I think is probably... In my opinion, his best documentary, uh, Speedway, Elvis, uh, Saturday Night Fever, the 30th Anniversary Special Collector's Edition, tricing that three times fast, um, with the really cool uh, sleeve, uh, Sleeveless in Seattle, some more Tom Hanks, uh, C-Spot Run, Stakeout, uh, Sleepy Hollow, uh, we have the original uh, 30 Scarface, then we have the uh, 80 Scarface, the two disc anniversary edition. Uh, the Shining, Shane, Set It Off, Strange Days, uh, Schindler's List, I should really, I, I'll probably get rid of this uh, if I upgrade this to Blu-ray. Uh, Surrogates, The Secret of My Success. A Stranger is Watching, Sleepers, Secret Window, it's kind of getting a little bit darker over here, uh, Soylent, Soylent Green, uh, The Serpent in the Rainbow, some more Wes Craven, uh, Dr. Strangelove, I just put this because of Strangelove, I should really put this with uh, the D's, but whatever, I'll just keep it here, uh, Seven, um, the two disc edition, I guess. Uh, Strange Brew. Space Cowboys. And finally, on this shelf, we have uh, the Vista Series two disc release of The Sixth Sense, which is a really nice set. So uh, that's it for this shelf. Now on to the last shelf. But first, I want to show you guys uh, what I have on top here. Um, we have my Ultimate Scream Collection box set here. Um, we have the, uh, the Omen collection, we have uh, the Forbidden Planet tin set, my Jack Frost VHS, and my Saw 5 Uncut Collector's Edition, which I'll play you guys, I guess, the Saw animation. You thought it was over, but the games have just begun. So yeah, really kind of cool. So now on to uh, the last shelf here. We have the Siege, the Score, Spider-Man, the uh, the Superbit Spider-Man. Then we have uh, Spider-Man 2 Superbit, Spider-Man 2.1, the Extended Cut, uh, Slackers, Sons of the Lambs. Unfortunately, this is a, another full screen DVD. Um, I'll probably either get like the two disc one that's kind of like newer or I'll probably just get this on Blu-ray. Uh, Save the Tiger, some Jack Lemon, Swimming with Sharks, Superman the Movie, Superman 2, some Jackie Chan here, Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights, Spaceballs, The Shawshank Redemption, one of my absolute favorites of all time, uh, Santa Claus the Movie, Two uh, Christmas themed ones here, uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, the Sum of All Fears, Singing in the Rain, Signs, The Sandlot, uh, Shaft, Shaft's Big Score, this should really be here, that's the Shaft remake. Then we have Skin Deep, um, like my one of my prized possessions in my collection, a uh, DVD worth like $200. Silver Bullet, my Super Bit Deluxe of Snatch. Uh, then we go on to, I guess, my Saw collection here. So we have Saw 1 Theatrical, Saw 1 Uncut, Saw 2, I still need to get Saw 2 Uncut, uh, Saw 3 Uncut, Saw 3 Director's Cut, Saw 4 uh, Theatrical, and Saw 6 Uncut, and up there, Saw 5 Uncut. 
And then we have the Snake Pit. 16 Candles. I really like 16 Candles. Stroker Ace. Uh, something Wild. Sneakers. Slap Shot. Shock Treatment. Uh, the Skulls. Some Like It Hot. Sabrina. Some more Audrey Hepburn. Uh, double Feature. More Stephen King. Sometimes they come back and sometimes they come back again. And finally on the shelf we have South Park Bigger Longer and Uncut. So now we move down to the next shelf. We have Save the Last Dance. Special Collector's Edition. Showdown in Little Tokyo. Smoking in the Bandit. Sniper. Sleepaway Camp. Sleepwalkers, Snakes on a Plane, Spy Game, St. Almost Fire, Sound of Music, the uh, 50, or 40th Anniversary Edition, one of my absolute favorites, Singles, Stay Tuned, uh, Santa with Muscles, Hulk Hogan, Stepmom, Shadowlands, Spartacus, The Stand, more Stephen King there, uh, Stand By Me, State of Play, uh, The Spy Who Loved Me, Soldier, Starship Troopers, we're going to get on to my Star Trek now, so we have Star Trek The Motion Picture, Director's Edition, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, Star Trek III The Search for Spock, Star Trek IV The Voyage Home, Star Trek V The Final Frontier, Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country, Star Trek Generations, Star Trek First Contact, Star Trek Insurrection, and Star Trek Nemesis. Whew, that was exhausting. Now we're going to get on to my Star Wars collection. So we have The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, which I'll admit, the prequels are not that great. Um, Revenge of the Sith is the only good one. We have the original trilogy here. Uh, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. Um, episode 4, I'll admit, uh, was just okay. Um, episode 5 is awesome, and Episode 6 is awesome. Then we have uh, the Ewok movies. We have Caravan of Courage and the Battle of Endor, or the Battle for Endor. Tales from the Hood, Trouble with the Curve, uh, Tombstone, the Director's Cut Vista series, Tommy Boy, uh, This Is It, or Michael Jackson's This Is It, the two disc set. Uh, bought this at the Dollar Store. Um, pretty good documentary. Uh, Tommy Knockers, more Stephen King. Now I could probably sit on my uh, my chair again so to show you guys this next row here. Uh, we have The Truman Show, which is really good. Uh, the Thin Red Line, more Fox War classics. Uh, Thunderball, uh, the legacy series of To Kill a Mockingbird, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Tomorrow Never Dies, Top Gun, which, um, yeah, it's Top Gun, it's awesome. Uh, the Terminator, with a really cool... Uh, cover, I guess. Then we have two versions of Terminator 2 here. We have uh, the Ultimate Edition. Uh, T2 is my favorite movie of all time. Um, obviously, I've got to have multiple editions of uh, T2. Um, yeah, it's just awesome. Lots of special features on this one, too, as you guys can see. So that's the Ultimate Edition, and I also have the uh, ooh, voice crack there. We have the T2 uh, Extreme DVD, uh, which has actually more special features on there. Like I said, you got to have uh, multiple editions of T2 in your collection because it's awesome. Unfortunately, this is just like the cardboard, not the metal. Terminator 3, uh, which was okay, I guess. I have uh, Salvation on Blu-ray, and uh, I have Genesis on a Steelbook. Uh, a Time to Kill, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, uh, Tupac Resurrection, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, uh, That Thing You Do, which is awesome, uh, the Toy Story 2 pack, which has the first and the second ones, they're both really good movies, uh, There's Something About Mary, which has um, the theatrical one and the extended cut, uh, There Will Be Blood, which is the Judas Collector's Edition, Taffin, Trapped in Paradise, uh, This is Spinal Tap, Trading Places, They Live, uh, Tango and Cash, Thinner, more Stephen King right there, uh, 13 Days, Thanks for Sharing, uh, some more Dragon I see here, Tai Chi Master, uh, Tears of the Sun, Thelma and Louise, 
Uh, Talladega Nights, the, ba uh, the Ballad of Ricky Bobby, which is a uh, pretty good movie. The double feature of Teen Wolf and Teen Wolf 2. Three Amigos. Uh, Throw Mama from the Train. Timeline. The Towering Inferno. Toys. True Lies, which is awesome and I cannot believe uh, has still no Blu-ray. Or still hasn't gotten a Blu-ray release. I hope it does here soon. Uh, the Transporter. Transporter 2. Transporter 3. Uh, the original Tron, True Stories, uh, Twister, which I should just really get rid of this DVD. Um, I just like having it because it's the first DVD ever released, but I have it on Blu-ray, so I don't really need it. Uh, Turner and Hooch, some Tom Hanks there. We go down here now, we have Twilight Zone the movie, which is really good. Um, Toy Soldiers. Twins, which I should really give a second chance. It never liked it first time around. Uh, the Usual Suspects, uh, Uncle Buck, U571, uh, Unbreakable, which is an awesome movie. Um, a very underrated movie, too. Uh, probably one of M. Night Shyamalan's best. Uh, I tried watching Split. It was awful, but um, I actually can't wait to see Glass, uh, which is coming out, I think, next year. Under Siege, some more cheesy Steven Skull action there. UHF, which is pretty good. Uh, Up in Smoke. Unlawful Entry. U.S. Marshals, which is the kind of sort of not really sequel to um, The Fugitive. Untamed Heart. Uh, the super bit of Underworld. I do not have Underworld Evolution. Uh, Underworld Rise of the Lycans. Underworld Awakening, which I should really upgrade to Blu-ray for that one. Uh, Universal Soldier. United 93. Urban Cowboy. Uh, Valentine. Varsity Blues. Vampires. Victory. Or actually, it's called Escape to Victory, I think, in some places. Uh, v for Vendetta, the two-disc limited edition with the really cool uh, holographic, or not really holographic... Lenticular slipcover. Uh, it also includes a copy of the comic book in it, too, which is awesome. Uh, Vision Quest. Valdez is Coming. Virus. The Warriors. And we also have uh, The Warriors, which is the ultimate director's cut with the slipcover. Uh, Watchmen, which I should really upgrade to Blu ray. Uh, Winchester 73. War Games, which is pretty good. Uh, Wind Talkers. The War of the Roses, uh, Willow, uh, Jackie Chan's Who Am I, uh, We're No Angels, White Men Can't Jump, Wedding Crashers, the uh, Uncorked Edition, or basically unrated, uh, Who's Harry Crumb, Ooh. I should really upgrade this to Blu-ray, uh, War Horse, uh, What's the Worst That Could Happen, White Squall, uh, we Were Soldiers, W, and last one on the shelf is Without Limits. So now if we move back down here, move my chair out of the way, uh, we have Wayne's World and uh, Wayne's World 2, Witness, uh, The World Is Not Enough, The Wild Bunch, the original director's cut, Wrongfully Accused, uh, the Glow in the Dark slipcover for The Wolfman, uh, What About Bob, Wyatt Earp, The Watcher, uh, Wild Bill, The War Wagon, White Sands, What Dreams May Come, the two disc uh, collector's edition of Walk the Line, White Chicks, my uh, ultimate guilty pleasure movie, The Wedding Singer, the Witches of Eastwick, uh, What Lies Beneath, What Women Want, Weekend at Bernie's, uh, Wall Street, as everything is falling over here, uh, Wrong Turn, Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, Wrong Turn 3, Left 4 Dead, Wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings, I still need to get Wrong Turn 5, but I have Wrong Turn 6, Last Resort, 
Triple X, the uncensored, unrated director's cut, and I also have the uh, the super bit of Triple X, uh, X Men 1.5, X Files Fight the Future, Year of the Dragon, uh, Young Guns, Young Guns 2, uh, You Only Live Twice. So we're nearing the end here. We have You've Got Mail, Yellow Beard, and finally we have Z Leg. Uh, so that's it for all the regular DVDs. We're going to move up here because I have two more. We have uh, the complete collection of Roots, uh, which has the, both the miniseries and I think the holiday special in HBO Canada sneak preview uh, DVD there. And then we have uh, The Wizard of Oz, the three disc collector's edition. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is it for my complete DVD collection. I actually have some miscellaneous DVDs in my closet, and I also have some uh, TV on DVD, and I also have some DVD steelbooks, but um, I'll get to those in another video. But anyway, got, anyway though, guys, uh, that is about it for this uh, video, so be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you all next time.